Welcome to this Excel stat short video on how to discretize a continuous variable in Excel stat. First, you need to open the dialog box of the discretization function. It is under the menu Preparing Data, and then you need to click on Discretization. When the dialog box is open, you first need to select the data to discretize. Here we will take the BMI or body mass index variable by selecting the BMI column. Then you need to select the method of discretization. Among the different options that you can use, you can select the constant range, where all you need to do is define the size of each interval. If you select the method intervals, you will need to specify the number of intervals you wish to use. There are a lot of methods, so if you need more information, click on the help button and browse through the dialog box section of the help documentation. We will select intervals user defined method. We will select the method intervals user defined. Then we select the range where the intervals are defined. Here we select the name of the column as we did select the name of the column containing the data or BMI column. We leave the column's label ticked and we can add the row labels as well and select the patient identification column. Finally, in the general tab, you can select where the output should be displayed. Here it will be displayed in a new sheet. Move on to the next tab, Options. In the Options tab, you have the opportunity to select the weights of the samples. Here we will not use this option and we move on to the tab Missing Data. In our small data set, we don't have missing data. However, if you do have missing data, you can decide to either get a warning, such as the option that is selected now, Do not accept missing data, or you can remove the observation or estimate the missing data. In the next tab, Outputs, you can decide which result to compute. We select the centroids and the result by class and objects. In the last tab, Charts, you can choose the plot to be displayed. We select a histogram with bar and using frequency. We can now click on the OK button. Click on Continue after checking that the selections are the right ones. The results are now computed and displayed in a new sheet. The first one is a histogram. Note that the weights of the bars is the size of each interval. Most of the patients have a BMI between 18.4 and 29.9. We can look at the corresponding statistics in a table. The class centroids give you an idea of where is the average value for each class. For example, for the class 3, ranging from 18.5 to 24.9, the centroid is 21.4 when the middle of this class is 21.7. Then we get the distance between the class centroids. It is generally used to see if the classes are not too close. In the table results by class, we get some statistics about each class, as well as the distribution of the patients in each class. Finally, we get a table of attribution to the different classes. This is a discretized variable you can use in further analysis. Thank you for watching this Excel stat short video.